is Mackie and I'm Mr Ladyman and these next series of videos we're going to work through the phase three die graphs and tri graphs there'll be a different focus each session but feel free to work through them at your own speed now before we start today you are going to need something to write with and a piece of paper whether it's a pencil or a pen or a whiteboard pen and a whiteboard um, we're, there might be opportunities where we're going to ask you questions so please do join in at home don't forget, you can pause the video at any point and rewind any bits that you need to. Hope you enjoy them. S A T P E N M D G O A er ba o o ja z wa ks ya I know the to go into he she we me be you are her was all they my hi again so our next digraph that we're going to be looking at today is er uh, er uh, er uh, well done okay so this again has got two letters that are the same size so nice and easy to write okay so our first letter is a u and that goes down and under up to the top and draw the puddle okay down and under up to the top and draw the puddle well done and then we've got our R again down the robot's back and curl over his arm okay so that's our digraph for today our digraph is er uh. well done okay let's have a go at blending and reading these words then okay so first one k er uh, all curl well done. Some people might like to curl their hair. Okay, great. Next word, another big one here. Let's break it down. T, er, n, ip. T, er, n, ip. Turnip. Now, turnips are kind of vegetable. You might have read the story before the enormous turnip. And our last one is ch, er, ch, church. Okay, some of you might go to church. Okay, brilliant. Right, have a go on here. Oh, we've got the same word here. Nice clue for you there. So we'll go straight in and do that. So ch, uh, ch, church. Brilliant. Next one. B, uh, mm, burn. Now I want you to just tell me why would I do a dot for some of the letters and a dash for some of them? What is the difference between those? Okay, we're identifying the different phonemes in a sound. The dot is to show it's a single one, well done. And if it's a dash, 
It might be a digraph, which is two letters that make one sound, or a trigraph, which is three letters that make one sound. Brilliant, well done. First pseudo word then we've got is uh, b, herb. And then we've got ch, uh, m, mm, churm. Okay, have a go at reading the sentence down the bottom. Well done. First word then, we've got that tricky word, the again. The, th, uh, the, fur, on, mm, on, the, fur, on, the, d, o, g, the, Fur on the dog was long. Well done. The fur on the dog was long. Brilliant. Don't forget, if you haven't got it quite right, then you can edit as we're going along. Well done. My first word I want you to have a go at writing, listen, is turn. Turn. Just before you write it, all of you turn around. Well done, have a go at writing it. So first letter we've got there is our T, down the tower, across the tower, T. Then our digraph, uh, T, uh, mm. Okay, so we've got three phonemes in that word. Three phonemes you can hear, T, uh, mm. But there's also the three graphemes. Graphemes, remember, it's how it looks when you write it down. So we've got t, uh, mm. Well done. Next word I want you to have a go at segmenting is hurt. Hurt. If you fall over, you might hurt yourself. First, first letter in that one then, we've got an H. Okay, again, want to see those nice and tall. Okay, don't make them too short because they then look like an mm, different letter. So, uh, and then a final sound, t, hurt. Well done if you got that right. Okay, now the last thing to do is to write our sentence. Okay, so listen to our sentence today. My mum can surf. My mum can surf. Well done, can she? Maybe she can. Okay, have a go at writing that down. Okay, so our first word again, tricky word my. Remember, capital letter to start. I hope you've all got that in your sentences. So a capital M nice and tall and pointy at the top, okay? So my, well done, if you've got a nice long descender there, my mum, mm, uh, mm, my mum can, and then surf, okay? Surf. Uh, well done, full stop at the end, okay? Your extra challenge today then, can you write a sentence about somebody in your family? My mum can do something, my dad can do something, my gran, whoever you'd like to write about, have a go at writing a sentence about something they can do. Well done.